For the beam load that is shown by double integration method, determine the slope and deflection under each load. EA is constant. So first, let's compute for the reaction AY. So moment D equals 0. So AY times 10 equals EY times 10 minus plus, let's consider this first, plus 60 times X minus 6 plus 60 rather than minus 30 times 7. So solving for AY, AY is 15 kilonewtons. Then we set the moment equation by cross sectioning in this section here. Distance from A is X. So that EI Y double prime equals EY EI Y double prime equals 15 times X EY times X then plus 60 times X minus 6 to the 0. So we should put X minus X, X to the 0 although this is 1. So that because this will not be involved when x is before 6 so it will not be included because when x is less than 6 the quantity inside the parenthesis will be 0 and remember the principle we ignore it in the equation when the quantity inside the parenthesis is negative so minus 30 times this distance is x minus 3 So that's it. Integrating once EIY prime equals 7.5 x square plus 60 x minus 6 to the 1 or x minus 6 then minus 15 x minus 3 square plus e sub 1. That's the equation for the slope. Integrating again EIY equals 7.5 over 3 is 2.5 x cubed plus 30 x minus 6 square minus 5 x minus 3 cubed plus e sub 1 x. Again, there is no C sub 2 because when X is 0, the deflection at A is 0. So there is no C sub 2. We solve for C sub 1. We set X equals 10 and Y is 0 at D. So 0 equals 2.5 times 10 cube plus 30 times 4 square minus 5 times 7 cube plus C sub 1 times 10. Where 4 is 10 minus 6 and 7 is 10 minus 3. So the quantity inside the parentheses are all positive. That's why they are included in the computation of C sub 1. Solving for C sub 1, C sub 1 is equal to negative 126.5. If we divide this by EI, that's the slope at A. Take note of that. So EI, theta A is negative 126.5 over EI. So EI, theta B, we set x is 3 is 7.53 square. This is negative, so that's why it's ignored. This is 0. Then the next term is C sub 1. So plus negative 126.5. Therefore, we can now solve theta b. Theta b equals negative 59 over ei. Then delta b, deflection under b into this equation. So EI delta B equals 2.5 times 3 cube. This is ignored because the value inside is negative inside the parentheses. This is 0 then plus negative 1 to 6.5 times 3. X is 3. So delta B can now be computed. It is equal to negative 312 over EI. Then when X is 6 Solve for theta c. I theta c is equal to 7.5 6 square. This is 0. Next is minus 15 times 3 square. Then plus negative 126.5 c sub 1. So theta c can now be evaluated. It is equal to 8.5 over ei. And finally, deflection at c. Ei delta C equals 2.56 cube then min plus 0 and minus 5 times 3 cube plus negative 126.5 
times 6. So delta C can now be computed. It is equal to negative 354 over EI. So that's it for this problem.